Rick's out in marketing for Maybach Music. Yes, that's Rick Ross's Maybach Music. Oh. Huh. There we go. <laughs> so guys, uh, we are going to just do a little introduction. Let our guests introduce themselves today. Jay, why don't you tell our scopers who you are and what you do. Hey, Florida, how are you? Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm Jay Stone. I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm an emotional nudist, master brand coach. I help business owners create profitable businesses without compromising their quality of life. Now, as business owners, a lot of times we are pulled in so many different directions, but it's always about getting those coins. It's always about getting those dollars. But what if you could get those dollars without compromising your quality of life? That's where I come in. I help you build a brand and the emotional nudity is living that brand out authentically. All right. Hey, New Orleans. Listen, Alfred is on the move. You got to follow Alfred at, Al <laughs> at Alfred Edmund Jr. because he will show you all over where he is. Um, Lex, Nick, tell us a little bit about you and what you do. Hello to the Periscope world. My name is Lex Pierre Lewis, CEO of Lex Promotions and Marketing Group. What I do, at the end of the day, it's all about the brand and product. I try, and then not only do we try, but we do it, take the brand to the consumers. We implement brands with today's culture and lifestyle. We live, we go out, we party, we work. Consumers have a demand, and the demands know what's going on. So what I do is I tie in the brand with the consumers. Nice, nice. Now you guys, again, you are joining us for our first BE Biz Scope. We hope that we'll be able to uh, bring this to you on a regular basis. So Definitely. thank you guys for joining us today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask a few questions. And if you guys are wondering who is this voice of God behind the screen, it is Sarita Wright, the social media manager here at Black Enterprise. And I also go by Savage Gazelle on social media. Um, so I want you guys to just take turns answering these questions. And then if you guys have questions just you know what to do uh, put it in the comments and we will ask them to our guest today and of course share show us some love with these hearts you know we love hearts hey thank you so much and I'm just gonna go on first so Jay yeah what's the best part of your job the best part of my job is those aha moments when you see people really 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 struggling to get their business from one place to the next place to the next place. And they struggled with this for years. They paid a lot of people. They paid a lot of coaches. And all of a sudden, they come see me and they sit at my table. And then the six months later, all of a sudden, these aha moments go off. Okay, And then they start to not only see where they went wrong, but all of a sudden to see their own vision come to life. So that is it for me. That's a high. That's like a drug. I, I think I'd be snorting brand strategy. Snorting <laughs> brand? Today's uh, spray that days. Are you out here snorting brand strategy? Tweet yeah. that. Yeah, that's that's so, yeah. Just seeing that go off and seeing them get the results. I get high off results. results. Yeah. Nice. Results, yeah. And Lex? I definitely will join you in that result driven. At the end of the day, it's about producing some results. So I will say saving clients money. It's amazing how much you can gain a client's trust and love when you come to them with a campaign and they're able to get results, get the goals they wanted, and then you save them some money. They love you. That's the moment that I laugh for. Nice. All right. So up next, Lex, who are your business mentors, real or mentors in your head? Steve Stout is definitely a mentor in my head. Never really met him, but definitely read up on him. Damon John as well. But personally, uh, Ted Lucas, who's CEO of Slip and Slide Records, uh, he was one of the first ones when I was maybe 19, 20. I told him I wanted to go to Puerto Rico, make show Power Summit, and promote his artists at the time. And he's like, have you ever worked the record? I'm like, no, but I'm going to go to Puerto Rico, and I'm going to promote your musicians. And at the time, it was Trina and Trick Daddy. And uh, since then, we actually built a bond, and he gave me a chance. And at 19 years old, I went to Puerto Rico, didn't know where I was going to stay, and promoted those albums. Nice. Now, for those who are asking, uh, Nat Dimple said, I'm unsure what you guys do. Are you guys advisors? Would you guys say that you are advisors, coaches, consultants, a little bit of everything? Uh, on my side, it's more marketing management. My game plan is to come up with a game plan for the projects, the albums, if it's music, if it's not music, the product like liquor companies, and then come out with the activations and do the activations. Okay. Yeah. And I am a brand coach, so I help women build their brands and make them profitable. And if you're asking who this gentleman is, his name is Lex Pierre Louise. He is the founder of LPMG Promotions, and he is also a lifestyle and marketing expert over at MMG. All right, so next question. Actually, Jay, who are your business mentors, real 
or in your head. And so I want to say the first uh, one is Rosemary Jones, who she just passed away like last month. So that's been devastating for me. Um, she was the supply diversity manager for uh, Turner Broadcasting. And she gave me uh, lots of opportunities to show my talent. She believed in me before I believed in myself. But she also talked to me just as another woman, a black woman, not just a black woman, a full figure black woman. She said, curvy girls have to show up in a way differently and she was like it's never about the clothes it's always about the jewelry right mm. so <laughs> it's always about the jewelry and the accessories and she gave me those little tips uh, for always showing up and I know this next one is going to sound like a little bit of sucking up but it's really true as Mr. Earl Graves senior oh okay. shout out to Black Enterprise founder <laughs> I, heard him do, I heard him do a keynote some many many years ago um, at the Atlanta Tribune and at Atlanta Tribune event and he talked about the level of excellence the level of excellence and that is such a it became a key component for my brand um, because the level of excellence we have to be three times as good to get half as much credit right and so that level of excellence we don't have an option to come in and understep and half step we don't have that choice to be taken seriously so that was the thing that he instilled and so I always watch uh, his company his organizations and what he did and his story is kind of amazing mm -hmm. so, yeah, I know it sounds like I'm sucking up, but no. it's, it's really true. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, my May Lady 08 asks, what books have you read? What are some of your, uh, I guess, entrepreneurial books? Entrepreneurial books? Mm -hmm. Okay, so real talk, total transparency. I don't read books. I read, um, I read blogs. I read notes. I read um, a few other things like that. I'm really big on reading blogs and websites because I need to consume information quickly and move on. So I'm all about give me the cliff notes of the information. But more important, I'm, I'm more interested in the training because the books are the conceptual piece. I need the practical applications. Now, what are some of these blogs um, that you're reading? Okay, so I'm really into technology. So I read a lot of them. Mashable, I read Inc. because um, I'm all about the most innovative technology. Of course, the black enterprise. Um, and then we've got, what did I say, Mashable, TechCrunch, um, you name it, the ones that are given the hottest stuff, but definitely Inc. Black Enterprise um, and Entrepreneur. Nice. Now, I'm just going to do a shameless plug right here. Next month is our Tech Connect Summit in Silicon Valley, October 12th and 13th. You should definitely be there if you are interested in learning more about how to uh, get money for your products and services, if you're looking to network, if you are a recruiter, you want to be there at Black Enterprises Planting Their Flag in Silicon Valley. If you go to blackenterprise.com forward slash events, you will learn everything you need to know, including our newly confirmed uh, speaker, Young Guru, who is a Grammy Award winning engineer. He will be speaking. He has a fantastic story and he does amazing things in tech. So definitely check that out. Um, Everyone, thank you again for joining us. If you're just tuning in, this is our first BE Biz Scope with some amazing entrepreneurs, Jay Stone, emotional nudist and brand master coach, and also Lex Pierre-Louise, who is founder of LPMG Promotions and does marketing and lifestyle for Maybach Music. So right before we go into the next uh, fire, rapid fire question, we had a question on here earlier. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Uh, please pop back in. Um, do you guys work with small businesses and big brands? And can you name a few of the bigger brands that you've worked with and just let us know some of the things that you guys have done? So yeah, I've worked with bigger brands, Coca-Cola, Delta Airlines, Hewlett Packard. Uh, those are some of my bigger, Turner Broadcasting. Those are some of my bigger clients. I primarily focus on the smaller clients now. Um, I realized that I had a calling specifically for women business owners. Now, I do have a few lucky men that I work with, <laughs> a few lucky guys come on board. But um, there is something about women businesses that we struggle with in a different way from men. Um, and that, that is our confidence and the way that we question ourselves. And that's where the emotional nudity part comes in. We second guess everything that we do and every move that we make. We don't know if we're good enough. We're not sure. We have problems with professional relationships. We have a different level of stuff that kind of goes on in the way that we build businesses. So my focus became small businesses about two years ago. And so, but I still have those corporate clients that call me whenever they need me. Okay. Most definitely. 
I'm lucky enough also to have a few corporate clients. Uh, on the music side, every major record label from Def Jam, Atlantic Records, Capitol Records, Jive Records uh, are still clients or at some point in my career were clients for many years. Outside of that, we've also started a lot of doing campaigns for liquor companies. Hennessy Moet, Bel Air Rosé, uh, Remy Martin, and of course uh, in the technology world, Beats by Dre, Monster Headphones. And then uh, as far as the food and beverage world, Wingstop is one of our clients. But as far as small businesses, I think the past uh, about four years, I've got an influx of uh, minority-owned businesses that own maybe several franchises. There's a restaurant in Miami. The gentleman has about six locations. There's another retailer in Miami who has a dry cleaner. He's got about 15 locations. So now I'm finding that helping these small businesses that have multiple locations expand and creating a brand identity for them. Nice, very nice. So you guys, we are really having a serious discussion uh, with two people who are really making some major moves right now in the business world. Lex, there is a question for you. Do you have any book suggestions? I can't remember the, the names of the books off the top of my head. Um, I'll tweet them out later on. Follow me on Twitter, Lex, Lex Pierre Lewis. But definitely, I read books in, uh, that are all business related, entrepreneurship related. Uh, so I try to read a book a month and I'll give you a list of the ones later on. Nice, and Jay, I think this question was for you. Um, will you be hosting any conferences? I know the answer <laughs> to that, but I will let you share. <laughs> okay, so I will be hosting uh, a Periscope users conference for Periscope users in technology, entrepreneurship, and social media. It will be in Atlanta, February 2016. That's February 24th and 25th, and the name of the event is called Paracon, so you can get the information from paracon.social, P-E-R-I-C-O-N, dot social. Samantha, and not to cut you off, the name of the last book I've read, here it is, It's Your Business, 183 Essential Tips That Will Transform Your Business. So it's called, It's, it's Your Business. All right, It's Your Business. Now we have a question from May Lady 8 What nugget of advice can you give someone who is just starting out in branding? Okay. Oh, that's a good that's question. That's a very good question. Yeah, that's a great Listen. question. That's a great question. Um, if you're just starting out and branding, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is uh, you got two things that you need to work on. The first thing that you need to work on is having a signature uh, offering, a signature service, okay? Specific, very specifically niched signature service. There's a lot of people out here. There's a lot of competition out here. You've got to set yourself apart really, really quickly really quickly and solve a problem really quickly and the number two thing you got to do is get some credibility under your belt get the media coverage for the credibility I can charge five times more money now than I could five years ago before I got national media coverage so for whatever reason the industry that we're in the credibility weighs more than even your 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 service offering okay I think what I mean at the end of the day it's uh, making sure that your clients are happy Whoever your client is, what do you have? One client or 20 clients. Make that client feel like they are the only client. And word of mouth, with that client being happy, will allow you to get more customers and more clients. Very, very That's good. good. Yeah, word of mouth. Okay, so, Lex, finish this sentence. The best business advice I ever received was... Don't let clients go without, don't let clients go owing you invoices past 90 days, no. <laughs> That's real talk. That's real talk. <laughs> On the real talk. Um, I definitely think, uh, you know, you know, I had, a, I had a client that told me something one day and I was like, it's so simple but it makes so much sense. He said, you can't do the job, say you can't do it. So at the end of the day, you know, we, everybody has dreams and goals and wants to achieve certain things, but at the certain point when you're starting your career or sometimes you're overwhelming, you have too many clients, there's nothing wrong with turning down a project or saying, I can't do this, it's out of my reach, let me refer you to somebody else. And I think that's the best thing because you don't want to take on a client, take on a project and not be able to make the client happy. Very good. And Jay, finish this sentence. The best business advice I ever received was? Um, it's all it's all about the relationships. It's all about the relationships. Uh, you'll make more money from your relationships than you will make on your own. So, yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna add to that though. It's about the organic relationships. A lot of people, there's a difference between having a connection. 
I made a connection today with Lex. We met for the first time today. I'll contact him on Twitter. We'll have a connection. It'll take a little while longer for us to have an organic relationship because he doesn't know me. So people do business with people that they know, no. like, and trust, right? Sure. So everybody knows the know, like, and trust factor. I don't trust you yet. So you've got to build a trust, and that does not happen overnight. We live in a microwave society. Everybody wants that to happen overnight. You actually have to put in the work day in and day out to make sure those people understand who you are, what you deliver, and it has to be reciprocal. So these one-sided, lopsided, self-centered relationships, they don't work out for you so good. So it's all about the relationships. People, I'm here, right here in front of you today because of a relationship, shout out to Tawny Chambers, because of a relationship she had. I'm here today because of a relationship. So it's always about getting those relationships. I, I, I know I said relationships like six times, I'm gonna say it one more time for the other. <laughs> relationships. relationships, that's what it's about. And that is whether you are in person or online because there was a question just posed to you guys um, and if you're the person who asked it, please, you know, tap back in. But how do you create these uh, relationships online? How do you know when you have captured your audience? Now, Lex, it might be a little different for you because you are doing a lot more in person. We do uh, in person, events. but even even like for example, my relationship with Kelly started off a hashtag. I went to the Black and the Prize Golf Challenge event uh, tournament, and uh, I typed in the hashtag. And through the hashtag, her picture popped up. I looked the last name. We shared the last name. A reason to start a conversation so it's easy to start a conversation you have to find an angle whichever angle it is and hopefully the angle works but at the end of the day you can find you can build relationships with people different ways yeah. yeah, for me, um, it definitely, uh, I build a lot of mine online. And so you've got the one-to-one -one relationships, like me and I just mentioned Tawny, um, and we just built a relationship at a Black Enterprise event. That's where we met, at the Black Enterprise Conference in Atlanta earlier this year. And you built the one-on-one -on -one relationship. For me, I also have to build the one-to-many relationships because, you know, I have 40-some-odd thousand followers online. And so building the relationships with them starts with me really being open, transparent, and vulnerable. So I have to build the layers of it, right? They get to know me, then they get to trust me. They trust my word. I do things like show them, you know, my bank statements. Then they trust that I make what I say that I make, right? And so then, of course, I get them to like me and I actually pull them offline into live events. So there's another layer of connection when you bring people from offline to live events. And so then, like we had a meetup last night. Those are things that happen to give another layer of connection, particularly online. There are layers in that connection process, so don't forget that piece. And even when you first start meeting somebody online, it's the follow-up. You can meet them online once and have one conversation, or maybe for two, three days, and then disappear for two months. I'm gonna forget about you. The next person's gonna forget about you. So the follow-up is even more important. I agree. Nice, now, uh, what are both of your websites? Where can people find you guys? Uh, you can find me at jstone.com. It's a weird spelling, so just follow me here. It's J A I S T O N E, and I'm jstone on all my social media Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, J A I S T O N E.com. And to find myself, it's very simple L E X promotions.com across all social platforms. L E X promotions.com. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all across the board. See, um, we, you can tell we're branding people, right? You, yeah. One, absolutely. One shout. And that's another branding trick. Make sure whatever your social handle is, let it be the exact same platform across. Let it be the exact same handle all across so it's easy for people to find you. Listen, you guys have uh, really amazing uh, people following you guys and working with you guys. I see people putting Paracon Conference, <laughs> LexPromotions.com. You guys are amazing out here on Periscope. We definitely appreciate you guys. Um, just helping out, helping out, uh, and you know, everyone that that's what it's about. It's about building a community. All right, so you guys, we've got our final question in today's BE Biz Scope. Can I just say this is so great? This is yeah. great. <laughs> Wait, Wait, this is so great. Record. <laughs> record. Can you hit the record button? They put me to so work. Excited. All right, they we all work it, right? Again, you are watching Black Enterprise on our first BE Biz Scope with two amazing entrepreneurs, Lex 
Pierre Louise, who is the founder of LPMG Promotions. He also is a marketing and lifestyle expert over at MMG. Huh? It's just natural <laughs> to do it. You know, it really is just natural. You have to do it. And then we are joined by Miss J Stone. She knows everything about branding and marketing. She is a master teacher. You guys definitely and a want to Peach. know these people. And a Georgia <laughs> Peach. And a Georgia Peach. All right, so our final question, and Jay, I'm going to throw it to you first. What is your business mantra? You don't have to be perfect. You just have to show up. And I say that a lot uh, to, to specifically my women, right? I get on Periscope when I'm under the hair dryer at the hair salon, right, with no makeup on. I got on one night with my zit cream on, right, mm -hmm. um, because it's about the content I'm delivering. If you want to judge me, right, because I didn't show up perfect today, because now today I'm kind of fly, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't show up like that every time because it's about what you deliver and what you bring as a person. And until you can strip all that away and be clear that you're delivering value day in and day out to your people, to your clients, to your followers, that's the most important piece. Uh, don't get distracted with the pretty. Don't get distracted with the perfectionism. If you show up, things happen. This was not planned today. When Serena was like, oh, it's drop by Black Enterprise. I was like, cool, I'm gonna drop by. And then I got here and she's like, yay, we're gonna do an interview today. I was like, oh, why? If I didn't have on no makeup, I still would have done it, right? right? You don't have to be, you have to show up. I showed up today and something amazing has happened. I met this guy. And I'm here in Georgia Beach. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with all these great people. So you don't have to be perfect, but you have to show up every single time and give value every day. Lex? I don't think mine is that long, but um, <laughs> I, I, had a, I had one of my mentors tell me something. All you got to do is outwork the next person. So my philosophy is if this person is doing this and that, and I have a goal and we're in a race, guess what? I'm going to be the dude in the gym until the lights come on, until the janitor kicks me out. So I'll work the next person. Very, very good. And uh, for those of you who uh, don't know and those of you who are familiar with our BE Modern Man Initiative, Lex is one of our newest BE Modern Men. Thank so you. So definitely go to blackenterprise.com forward slash BE Modern Man and learn a lot more about who he is, what he's doing, and remember that our BE Modern Man initiative showcases extraordinary everyday men of color doing extraordinary things because it is our normal to be extraordinary. And we wanna thank you guys again for tuning in today um, for our first BE Bisco with Jay Thanks Stone. Woo! Yes. The first one. Yes. We are going to uh, log <laughs> off right now. Thank you guys so much for all the kind words and of course all the hearts and all the shares. <coughs> Um, if you want to get plugged in, follow us at Black Enterprise all across the board, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, Plus, everywhere you are, we are there. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you. All right. Good job. Bye, Scope Squad. Catch Scope. you on the flip side. <laughs> Great weekend, guys.